Hello, and welcome to the Signal 4 onboarding series. So far in the onboarding series, we've gone over creating a new account, inviting users to that account, creating teams and assigning users to those teams, and creating endpoints to receive events and create alerts from our third-party systems. Now that we're receiving events, how do we route these events to ensure that the alerts are being created and sent to the right teams to alert the right people at the right times? Today we're going to go over how we can do that inside of Signal 4 using the distribution rules found inside of the integration hub. So here we have loaded up our Signal 4 web portal as well as our Signal 4 mobile app. And what we want to do is here in the web portal, click on the integrations menu option. And this is going to load up our integration hub. And inside of the integration hub, we have a distribution rules tab. If we load this tab up, we're going to see a list of all of our distribution rules that are created either manually or by default when we create a new endpoint in the gallery. So if I go into my installed tab, we'll see the endpoints that we created in our previous video, such as this webhook endpoint here. If I click on the webhook endpoint and expand the information out, we'll see here that we have a link to our distribution rules for this endpoint. And if I click on the manage link, this is going to bring me back to the distribution rules and list all of the distribution rules for that endpoint. So by default, when we create a new endpoint, we're going to have a distribute all distribution rule created from the get-go. And what this rule does is it's going to take every event that reaches this endpoint and forward it on and create an alert for all of the teams selected inside of the distribution rule. In this case, both the IT ops and support teams. However, let's say that we don't wish all of our alerts to go to both teams. We want specific alerts to go to specific teams, depending on the criteria of the event we receive. We can do this as well by editing and creating new rules inside of the distribution rules page. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this distribute all, and I'm going to go ahead and rename this one to the Support webhook rule. This lets me know that this is going to the support. We're using the webhook endpoint and this is our distribution rule. So now what I want to do is I want to go down here and I want to go ahead and remove the IT ops team because this is going to the support team and not the IT ops team. Next up, we don't want every event to go to the support team. We only want certain events. So what we want to do is we want to set some distribution criteria so that this only pick up the events we want it to. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the set criteria button. This is going to open up a little pop-up box here. And what we want to do is we want to add a condition. And in our case, there's going to be multiple options in this dropdown. But what we're looking for is the text. And what we want to do is we want to do a text contains support ticket. So that means any event that comes in with the text support ticket is going to be routed through this role to create an alert and only sent to the selected team support in this case. So then I click on the apply button. And what we're going to notice here is that even though we've clicked on apply, we still have to click on save to finalize this rule. And now we've edited our distribute all rule to only send to the support via the criteria we've entered. However, in addition to that, I want to create a new rule to send to the IT ops team if other criteria is met. So in this case, I'm going to call this one IT ops webhook rule. And what we want to do is here is we want to select the source which in our case is still going to be the webhook endpoint. And we want to go ahead and add our team in here, the IT ops team. So now we need to set the criteria for when this rule takes effect. So I'm going to click on the set criteria button again. And I'm going to add a condition. And we're again going to do text. But this time I'm going to do the text value of change request. And this means anytime that the change request text is included in the event, it's going to be routed through this rule, and therefore the alert will be sent to the IT ops team. So I'm going to apply that and then click on the create button. And now we'll see here that we have two different rules, one sending to the support team and one sending to the IT ops team. So now let's actually create our events to send in so we can see these rules in effect. So to send these events in, I'm going to go ahead and use our raster, and I'm going to send it to our endpoint. And we'll see here that in the message, I have the text change request. So this should automatically route through the IT ops rule that we created. So I'm going to go ahead and send this in. And then I'm going to go ahead and send a second alert in, 
with the text support ticket created for the specific user. And I'm going to go ahead and send this one in as well. Now, if I go back to my Signal 4, and if I click on the Events tab, we will see here where we got two new events that came in. And I see it in my Signal 4 mobile app that we have two new alerts. Let's go ahead and look at these events first. If I expand out this first one, here's my IT Ops team came in through my webhook endpoint. And you'll see here that it hit the IT Ops webhook rule, meaning that we use the created rule to distribute this event as an alert to the IT Ops team. So now if I expand out the second one, we'll see here that again, we use the webhook endpoint, but this time we use the support webhook rule to consume this event to create an alert on the support team using this information included in the event. And in my mobile app, if I go ahead and click on my alerts, we'll see that I have two alerts and you can see the blue one went to support and the purple one went to IT apps. And I can open these and see the information that was included inside of the originating event in the alert. And this is how we can use the signal forward distribution rules to ensure that the right information is sent to the right users at the right time. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.